In this section, what I'm going to do is show you how to use the levels of an audio layer to drive the animation that we've created here, or at least part of the animation. Now, this uses expressions, and expressions kind of look like computer code. So some people are really uh, reluctant to get involved with expressions at all. But we're not going to be doing any serious coding here. Most of what we're going to be doing is automatically generated by the program. So it actually will be pretty straightforward. And I think you'll understand what's going on here by the time I've done explaining it. Now, first of all, what we have to do is bring in an audio layer and extract the amplitude data from that, the loudness information from that, to drive our animation. Now the layer that we have in here now doesn't have a lot of real strong beat information because it doesn't have those kind of heavy drums. This kind of animation tends to work better when you have a really solid beat that you can extract the amplitude from and generate those audio keyframes. So what I'm going to do here actually is bring in another bit of audio that I have recorded, which is really just me tapping on the microphone, and which I did in synchronization with the original audio track that we're working with here, the Cocktails Before Breakfast. And I did it on the two and four, just like the backbeat essentially of that rhythm with me just, as I said, tapping on the microphone. So it's really a, kind of an ugly sound in and of itself, but it gives us a strong beat to work with and something that's gonna be easy to derive amplitude from. So what I'm gonna do is bring in this backbeat audio file that I've got here and drop it in place. Let me close this up. Now it is only based on the second half of the audio. Let's close this down for right now. It's only based on the second half of the audio, so it really starts a long time before it should. So let's open this up here and find our waveform. And you can see that the waveform has got some very strong beats and not a lot of other stuff going on in it. If I drag it over here, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. And what we need to do now is line up, there's our bridge again. What we need to do now is line up this first beat, which actually happens on the second beat of the bridge, to this second beat keyframe. Now we could mark up this layer if we wanted to and so forth, but what we really need to do here is just line it up once and that should work. So we'll just nudge this over and get it right on top of that beat, get it right on top of that marker there. Oops. There, that should do it. Let's do a quick audio preview so you can hear what this sounds like. Now, as I said, this is going to be kind of ugly, but we won't hear this in the final version. Actually, let's take a quick break here and pick this up in the next video.